This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 3. I'll read both the KJV and NLT versions. It reads, And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places whither I have driven them, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shemal Shai of hosts. NLT. And the people of this evil nation who survive, who wish to die rather than live where I will send them. I, the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemal Shai of heaven's armies, have spoken. Judith 5 and 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error against this people and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. Verse 21. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their power be for them. And we become a reproach before all the world. And with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, in whom the world has ignorantly called Jehovah, or Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, in whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ, and whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings, given double honors unto my apostles my elders and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so, that taught me and brothers like me this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointed. Now these are the two most important things you will ever know and could ever know. The name of the Heavenly Father and the name of his only begotten Son, their true and proper names in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, our language, the Lashwan Kodash, which means holy tongue, Lashawan meaning tongue and Kodash meaning holy. Now these be the names that are written. The name of the heavenly father is Yahweh. Yah meaning he. Hawa meaning exists or is or is to be. He is. He exists. He the existing one. For he is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks him. And in the name of his only begotten son, a name that is above every name, given amongst men here on earth to the Israelite man first and also to the believer, consisting of women, children, helps of the prophets and those that have faith, even that name, even the mighty name, the name Yahawashai, Yah meaning he, Hawashai meaning deliverer and savior. And that is exactly what he will come and do for the second time in physical form yet as an angelic force, for we shall see him as he is, and we shall be like him. So Lord is willing, this is edifying lesson, part three to Jacob's trouble. It will be done, my Lord. Okay, and we're going to get right into it. So I read Jeremiah eight and three. The Lord say hey, pretty much those that remain of this evil family, our people, you Israelites, OK, are going to be destroyed. You're going to choose death rather than life. But the Lord is going to send you into whatever end he has planned for you. Then I read in Judith that the, even the heathen knew how much more our most deadly uh, enemy, Esau, Edom. They know that, OK, if we go against our power and sin, they have power over us. But if we're uh, uh, if we're good before our power and do no iniquity before him, then will he stand for us and fight for us? Now, in the end, okay, Jacob's trouble, right? When you read that particular verse, Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says Jacob's trouble. This is the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. There's no time like it before. It's unfortunate. But then it says Jacob shall be saved out of it in the end, which is referring to the elect of Jacob, the remnant, the predestined. The ones covered in the blood of Mashiach, the ones that are going to stand stiffly for his name, those that shall call upon the holy name and they shall praise and his elect shall praise his holy name. All right. They're going to be delivered because there will be no iniquity found in them in this time of trouble. But in the two thirds, oh, they're going to be overcome because the heathen are going to know Well, these right here, they don't keep the ways of their power. So we have access over them. 
All right. And now our enemies are fearful because certain of our nation have returned unto the heavenly father, but it was all of his doing. Call all you mind. Yahweh Shai. You see? Now I'm gonna go to the book of I'm gonna go to the book of uh First Maccabees in the Apocrypha. How Esau Edom came up against us, even though our power was with us, but he was angry. And there was a remnant of us left in the land because the northern kingdom, majority of them had left and went to this side of the world known as the Americas in this time. But during that time, it was known as the uh, uh, Ophir or uh, Arsereth, another land. Now, and then the, uh, the remnant of our nation, the, th uh, the three tribes consisting of the kingdom of Judah, Judah, Benjamin and Levi were left in the land and a sprinkling of the north was there. And they were coming uh, uh into contact with Esau Edom, who was at pow in power at this time. After the death of Alexander, his generals rose up and their sons after them. And evils were multiplied in the earth and they came up against our people during this era. And is known as the Maccabean revolt or the Maccabean era. OK, where we had to fight and the Lord was with us. But yet he was angry at a majority of us. And, and great confusion fell upon Israel and, and a great slaughter. But yet there was a remnant that the Lord was dealing with. Preferably uh, Matthias and his sons, the priests, all right, they were of the tribe of Levi, and they formed a, uh, a coalition and they revolted against this damn demon, Antiochus Epiphanes, who was an Edomite, and they, they whooped his ass, okay? Because they were standing for the ways of the Lord and they rededicated the temple that this demon uh, desecrated back unto the Lord, so the Lord was with them, all right? So the Lord is going to be with his elect at this time because the temple that we have rededicated back to the Lord is our own bodies because of the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai gave. His blood now covers us and now our sacrifice is acceptable in the sight of the Lord. But for two thirds, they shall not be accepted. The only thing that shall be accepted and will appease the wrath of the heavenly father, why Yahweh Shai, will be their own blood. OK, so let's go to the book of first Maccabees. Uh. We had first Maccabees, uh, is it first? Mag yeah, yeah, first Maccabees seven, and we're gonna go to 26. I'm gonna read down to 50. I believe it's going into Nicanor, that demon. Yep, yep, this is demon. All right, and this is how Esau Edom is gonna move in this time, but he's gonna uh, uh, hire mercenaries, okay, uh, uh, men that are, are higher guns. All right. A sales sword, as as was known in like the Middle Ages, is somebody that you can uh, hire for for a killing or an assassination or just like a higher gun, so to speak. Esau Edom is going to have a lot of those uh, out here. And he's going to have robot dogs and A.I. to hunt down Jake. Then he's going to have his own militia and militaries to hunt Jake. Then he's going to actually have uh, certain traps. OK, in uh, uh, places uh, uh, where he has garrisons stationed to be a snare unto Jake, like these uh, uh, facilities where they're going to be like telling uh, the women and the children, oh, come here, we'll house you, we'll keep you, we'll give you clothing and all that crap. And it's going to be a snare unto our people and they're going to fall right into it and be destroyed. Two thirds. OK, but the elect is going to be safe. The Lord is going to guide them and he's going to be the guide of them that keep his commandments and they're going to have an abundance. All right. And their children shall not see hell, the grave. OK, so let's. uh. Let's go right into it. And before we get that, let's get um, Deuteronomy up top. There's a scripture I wanted. Uh, t -t 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 not among us. Not among us. This is what two thirds are going to say in that time. Where we at? Yep. Deuteronomy 31, 17. Yep. Now, this is the book of First Maccabees 7 and 26. Then the king sent Nicanor, one of his honorable princes. So I like it. Let's go to that. Okay. It says, then the king sent Nicanor, one of his honorable princes, a man that bare deadly hate unto Israel with commandment to destroy the people. You see that? And it's going to be not just one man, but it's going to be a whole bunch. The whole, all the heathens are in cahoots. Psalms 83. They have a, a plan for a new world order. And Jake is not in that future because they know, OK, with these people, man, they're rebellious against any kings or whatever. You know, they're rebellious against their own power. We need to wipe them out. And then even those among them that may be returned to their power, we got to wipe them out because <clears throat> the new world order they're trying to bring is under Satanism. 
and, and madness and that there is no God. The state has declared that there is no God <laughs> like that. Uh, that episode of uh, obsolete man. But my man, uh, Wordsworth was like, there is a God. You cannot erase God with an edict. That's what's going to be us. That's going to be the elect. So they they know, oh, shit, people like that, we got to get rid of them. So they're going to have to destroy our whole nation. Hence, Jacob's trouble. But the Lord is going to have mercy on the elect. But two thirds are going to be given unto the blade, the sword, the Lord's sword, which is Esau, Edom, the wicked. All right. It says, so Nicanor came to Jerusalem. Now, he actually came to our city in the past. But Jerusalem now is a people before it's a place. Well, Jerusalem was always a people before as a place. But now in this time, when we read these scriptures, wherever our people is, is Jerusalem. Wherever our people are, so like it is Jerusalem. So if this devil comes up and, and slays Jake in the neighborhood, he came up against Jerusalem. He destroyed Jerusalem. He's fighting against Jerusalem, Israel. Whether you know you're Israelite or whether you don't know. He's coming up against our people and he's going to come up against Jake in a major way. Hence, Jacob's trouble. It says, so Nicanor came to Jerusalem with a great force and sent unto Judas and his brethren deceitfully with friendly words. See, uh, uh, see Judas and, and his men are going to catch wind of these demons. But a lot of our people, the people that we believe are our leaders, like these fucking entertainers and, and goddamn athletes and actors and shit. They don't really know that this devil is the, is the devil. They think that he's cool and shit. Cause they want to be like him or be equal to him and shit. Cause we've been here so goddamn long. We have forgotten that this damn demon is inferior to, unto us. We don't want to be uh, 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 equal unto him. We are superior to him. The elect knows that. So he has to take out the elect, but he doesn't know who the elect is. So he's going to come down upon the whole nation. And it's going to be a damn onslaught, but the Lord is not going to allow him to touch his elect. And in the very same time, the Lord is going to kill two birds with, with one stone. Going to use Esau, Edom as an instrument. Then he's going to discard this demon and destroy him. All right. After he takes out the number of Jakes that the Lord wants him to take out. OK, it says. And this is what these devils are going to do. Even here now, they try to do that with the juicy Jews, the Vanessa. They was like, oh, our, our, our black brothers, our black sisters. And shut the hell up, man. Then he named uh, uh, you blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, just as we have on the signs, just as we relate to our people in those three categories, as they call us now. But we're all one nation where the Israelites from the different tribes, they even said that in that order to bring our people to into a trap and to get that juice. And they even have uh, said that over 10 million people have died from that juice. But we believe brothers, you know from our apostles and elders on that. We believe that that number is much higher, but that's still a lot of goddamn people. Goddamn. You see? But they 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 uh, uh, received deceitful effing words and were destroyed. Just as they did in the past to our people and they're going to do it in this time to our people. All right? It says, and sent unto Judas and his brethren deceitful, uh, deceitfully with friendly words, saying, let there be no battle between me and you. I will come with few men that I may see you in peace. As what these devils have done. They've done this time and time again. They've done it to Gad, the North American Indian so-called uh, uh, Reuben. OK, on the, the damn trail of tears. They had them at gunpoint in the goddamn winter, marching them from Florida and the other lands that Reuben had, mainly Florida. But those other lands up in there, Georgia and all those places and marched them from there. To Oklahoma in the snow, whether it was old, young women, children, they didn't give a goddamn at gunpoint. Then they, they made all these treaties with Gad and broke every last one. They uh, 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 encroached on, on Issachar's land, which was all the whole western part of uh, the United States was once Mexico at the time. And they pushed Issachar out. And now they a damn illegal alien in their own effing land, man. Then you had uh, uh, the, the Southern Kingdom. They forced across the seas to serve slavery, hardcore slavery with the rest of our people here. And even the damn 40 acres and the mule that they promised Jake, they didn't give that to him. But what did they give Jake instead? Uh, killers of the goddamn flower moon among the north. And then they uh, burned and bombed cities like Tulsa, Oklahoma and many others where Judah was and the Southern tribes. 
So this damn devil has always uh, been using his fucking deceitful words, but yet war was in his heart. Okay? It says, let there be no battle between me and you. I will come with few men that I may see you in peace. He came therefore to Judas and they saluted one another peaceably. How be it the enemies were prepared to take away Judas by violence. You see that? And that's how they're going to come to our people with violence. It even tells you, uh, uh, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon, which is America, be thrown down. Now it's going to be civil war, societal collapse, chaos, race wars, civil war, class wars, war to sexes, war, uh, a world war, and ultimately, ultimately war of the worlds, realm versus realm. Okay, the Lord's going to have to send angelic entities to come and stand up for us. Uh, st first, starting with Michael. All right. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people, our people. But he's going to only stand for those that are written in the book, the elect. OK, it says. Which thing after it was known to Judas to wit that he came unto him with deceit, he was so afraid of him. See, the Lord allowed Judas to get up out of there, man. Get up out of there. Fuck these devils. Don't believe these niggas, man. Get out. And the Lord allowed Judas to get out. It said. Which the thing after it was known to Judas to wit that he came unto him with deceit, he was so afraid of him and would see his face no more. Nicanor also, when he saw that his counsel was discovered, went out to fight against Judas beside uh, Kapar Salama, uh, Salama. OK, so uh, uh, this damn devil knows that we 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 were onto his goddamn schemes. At least the elect, so he's mounting a, a, a siege, mounting an attack against our people. Most of our people are in the goddamn stupor, bugged out. He's he's fucking uh, uh, filling their goddamn heads with with bread and circus and bullshit that Jake likes, basketball and bullshit and boxing and all this other bullshit. Okay, the fucking uh, housewives of bullshit for the women and all this other crap that that has our people just. I know everything's good. You know what I mean? Did you see the game and all that shit? But this motherfucker is mounting weapons against you. He's 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 studying you. So when he does uh, come up against you, even if you catch wind or don't catch wind, he's going to come with violence against you. It says, where there were slain of Nicanor's side about 5,000 men. See, the Lord, hey, Jake is going to get it in. They're going to be gunning it out with these damn demons, these devils, but they're going to be slaughtered quickly. This man has greater weaponry, but he ain't going to be able to fight the elect because the weapons of all warfare are not carnal, but spiritual through the pulling down of strongholds. And when he shall come in as a flood, the Lord is going to lift up a standard against him among the elect and going to give them power. And we're going to get busy. Best believe the elect Lord's when I'm one of those men, we're going to get busy. All right. We're going to get busy. We're going to be putting down Jake as well. Like, Jake, get out the way, man. If you join hand with hand, you shall be thrust through with this guy. Okay? It says, Wherefore, there was slain of the Candace about 5,000 men, and the rest fled into the city of David. And after this went, Nicanor up to Mount Zion, and there came out of the sanctuary certain of the priests, and certain of the elders of the people to salute him peaceably. Because a lot of our people in this in this time of trouble, they're going to go to the places that they see as sanctuary. They're going to go to these facilities and they're going to go to these churches mainly. But those are going to be fucking uh, 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 places for garrisons and and and, and uh, it snares upon our people. Just as in the first Purge movie, if I'm not mistaken, Jake and them. They were like, man, we're going to be in the church while the, while the uh, purge goes on. They ain't going to come here. This is a safe place. But yet the goddamn mercenaries that the people that was over the purge sent out, they like go into them goddamn churches, go into the goddamn uh, 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 goddamn uh, buildings, the project buildings where Jake is, go level to level and take every Jake out. Even though these Jakes weren't even a part of the experiment, they still went for Jake. Jake was having a goddamn party the purge party and shit, and they went among Jake there to get Jake. You see? So they're going to go wherever you at, Jake, and then they're going to set up places where they can uh, uh, snare you and trap you and then destroy you. You see? But the elect is going to be moving a whole nother way because our guide is going to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
and he's going to uh, 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 steer us clear of these damn demons. But if they do come up against us and there is really no way out, no other way out, the Lord is going to tell us just like he would tell David and the men of old, uh, 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 go upon them, uh, 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 go up against them. I have delivered them into thy hand. You shall not lose a man of you. Or the Lord will tell David to flee. Uh, it surely will deliver you up. So it's going to be that time. Lord, I'm like, man, I've delivered them into your hands. Go get them. Go get these goddamn, these demons, man. These fucking Edomites and these ugly ass heathens and these goddamn mercenaries. You better show them a thing or two. What we'll put their name to the test. All right. It says. After this went. Nicanor up to Mount Zion and there came out of the sanctuary certain of the priests and certain of the elders of the people to salute him peaceably and to show him the burnt sacrifice that was offered for the king. But he mocked them. I like, mean, he think this shit going to be, you know, you know, hey, man, you, you know how Jake is, but, but how Esau going to Esau gonna look at him like, you think there's any goddamn thing to me? You know? You think that's any goddamn thing to me? But you know, please, you know, we're not like them. We're Americans. But what type of American? You know, where's your friend? This shit like on that movie. Uh, what was that movie where Will Smith was playing? Uh, man, what was that movie called? Hey, I forgot that movie that he was in. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, Emancipated. There you go. Emancipated. He said, uh, what he said? Oh, the one dude that was hunting Jake. He said, where's, where's your friend? And then when the dude didn't tell him, the other Jake didn't tell him, he just shot his ass, man. Then when the Jake died in that, that slave fucking uh, colony, uh, wherever the fuck that place was, a slave camp, uh, when he just, the Drake just dropped dead from the work. And then fucking Esau was like telling the other Jakes, uh, uh, pick it up, throw that lime on it and throw him in that pit. All you was is, was an it to Esau. You wasn't even nothing. They, they throw that lime on him. Hey, it it died. Pick it up and throw it in that pit over there. That's all you're going to be to these damn demons, man. You're going to be just bodies for the body bags that they got and the goddamn FEMA coffins that they have set up for you Jakes, man, that know not Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. He going to mock you. Like, you really believe in fucking me, and I hate you. He going to really be looking at, 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 at the, uh, us, the men of the Lord, He's like, well, at least them over there. I hate them too, and I'm gonna get them. But at least they know I'm their enemy and I'm coming for them. Other, uh, you other Jakes, you two thirds, you're not gonna know. You don't think he's your fucking friend, and he's not. Okay. It says, but he mocked them and laughed at them and abused them shamefully. In these term internment camps that they have for you, Jake, they're gonna torment you. They gonna they gonna do experiments on you. You women that's up in there, you know, already know what they're going to do. They're going to grape you and they're going to grape your children and drink their blood. That's what these motherfuckers are. They're not to be fucking trusted. They're bugged out. They're heathen. OK. They're not righteous. They're not the people of the Lord. You're the people of the Lord. And they want to eradicate you from off the planet. OK. It says. And spake proudly. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to have fucking public executions and shit. Just like on that uh, obsolete man. He's a, he's a, uh, uh, what is it? He said, he said, the state has declared that there is no God. And what else he say? He said, um, he said, he's like, he's like, uh, Mr. Wordsworth. He's like, you're obsolete. He's like, I'm a librarian. He said, um, He's like, your books. He's like, what the hell is the books? What the fuck is that? And he said, uh, he said, oh, uh, uh, let, let me give you an example. Like a minister, he would say that he's a servant of God, but the state has declared that the Bible, he said, the Bible, the, 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 they all their old pit. He's just fucking screaming at the guy. He's like, he's like, it's an anachronism. You're like a ghost from another time. You're a bug. You're a small bug, Mr. Wizard. You're nothing. <laughs> he's calling them out. But then he said, uh, there's public executions all the time. So, you know, they're going to have public executions in this time that we're talking about, man. And they're going to be speaking proudly against you, Jakes. They're going to be speaking proudly against whoever's going up against this new world order. OK, but the elect is going to be gone. The elect is going to be uh, uh, being guided. They're going to be hidden under the shadow of the almighty. It says. Uh, first, uh, first Maccabees seven. 
and 35 and swear in his wrath, saying, unless Judas and his host be now delivered into my hands, they're going to be calling for the, uh, the elect. They're like, who are these people that trust in the Lord your God? We don't know we're not with them. Uh -huh. They are terrorists. They are they are enemies against the state. Tell us where they are. The, they don't be cursing our people out. And Jake gonna be crying and thinking if they do a deal with these motherfuckers, they gonna live a little little space. But you ain't never gonna find the elect because the Lord's gonna have them hidden. And you Jake says try to sell us out. You gonna be slain any fucking way, whether you uh, uh, deliver us up or not, because certain of us are gonna be delivered up to be beheaded. But your ass still gonna lose, Jake. You two thirds, I wanna be fucking coons and wanna be on the side of these goddamn devils. You're still gonna lose, okay? It says, and he swear in his wrath, saying, unless Judas and his host be now delivered into my hands, if ever I come again in safety, I will burn up this house. And with that. He went out in a great rage and he's talking about the temple. So, damn, wherever Jake is at, they're going to be like, these projects that you're in, we're going to burn it and bulldoze it to the ground. This church that you're in, but it's the house of God. <laughs> we will burn it to the ground with you in it. They, 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 they just going to be cursing Jake out. They ain't going to give a shit. At this time, when society is collapsing and it's Jacob's trouble and it's hell, you got to remember even the rights of the Americans, which are Edomites, because really the rights was for them. It was never for us. We were three fifths of a man and the Northern Kingdom was savages and second class citizens and shit like that. So in this time, the goddamn constitution is going to be eradicated. It ain't going to be no longer. So you Jakes in this society are really going to be lower than any other in this society. And they're going to be going to war with the, uh, with their own kind in this society. It's going to be a civil war. But yet it's going to be Jacob's trouble at the very same time. OK. So you're going to be less than nothing in their eyes. <laughs> but we have children. <laughs> we don't get they ain't going to give a shit about that, man. You know what they do with children? They grape them. They eat them. They drink their blood. They ain't going to give a shit about that in that time. But this is a woman. This is a lady. They ain't going to give a shit about that. You're going to be a plaything for them. If you're a man and you're weak, you weak as hell, they already going to see you as nothing. A nigga, a spick, and a goddamn uh, uh, savage. But when they come up against the men of the Lord, they already going to know. Now, these are the tribes you're coming up against, motherfucker. We come from a godly lineage, nigga. You ain't about to just come up here and take us down. We going to fight these niggas wherever they at. The Lord going to give us that power in that time. And I believe that. And even if he doesn't give us that power, he's going to have Michael and the angels stand up for us. And they're going to destroy these mother effers, man, before they even reach us. Just like the Lord sent that angel into the camp of the Assyrians and he smote 185,000 of them damn demons. And they asses fled out, fled back to their own land. And then that very king, Sinatra, if I'm not mistaken, his two sons killed his ass. So that's the power of the Lord. We had to do nothing. All right. But I pray that the Lord makes me and other brothers a weapon to hunt these motherfuckers down and destroy them. Even though our people is getting slain in this for a right cause because they two thirds and they're bugged out and, and the Lord's wrath is, is upon them. Still, we're going we gonna to have a, 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 a heating, a boiling blood for our people. What they did to our people. Like, yeah, they was bugged out. Motherfucker, we coming for you now. That was our people still at the end of the fucking day. They're still our people. And we gonna come up against you because you are an enemy against our nation. So we, when we get that power, we're going to destroy these damn demons, man. Goddamn devils, man. We're going to destroy them. It says. Then the priest entered in and stood before the altar and the temple, weeping and saying, Thou, O Lord, Yahweh. By Shemal Shai did his choose this house to be called by thy name and to be a house of prayer and petition for thy people. Be avenged of this man and his host and let them fall by the sword. Remember their blasphemies and suffer them not to continue any longer. And that's what the elect is going to be. 
We're going to be sending up constant curses on these motherfuckers that's hunting for us in that time. We're going to be sending curses on Esau, Edom, the rest of the heathen and any adversary, whether it be of our own nation or those beyond our nation. OK, that's all we're going to be saying in that time, man. And the Lord is going to be an enemy against our enemies. OK, and he's going to be a protection unto us, a shield. All right. And a strong stay in the day of trouble. And it reads, because our, the temple now is going to be us, our bodies, because at the very same time, a lot of Jake's is going, uh, uh, their, their temples is going to be overtaken and sacked by that, the CHIP. They're going to have, they're going to be uh, uh, compromised. But the elect won't. We're going to be praying over our, our own lives, ourselves, our children, the women that are with us, and whoever else is of the household of faith. We're going to be constantly praying over them. And there's going to be constant prayers going out for the church, for the elect, for the Israel of Yahweh, as Paul said, peace and mercy upon the Israel of God. OK, the elect be avenged of this man and his host and let them fall by the sword. Remember their blasphemies and suffer them not to continue any longer. So Nicanor went out of Jerusalem and pitched his tents in Beth Aron, where an host out of Syria met him. But Judas pitched in Adassa with 3,000 men. And there he prayed, saying, O Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Oh, and I just mentioned this. When they that were sent from the king of Assyrians, of the Assyrians blasphemed, thine angel went out and smote in hundred, four score and five thousand of them. That's 185,000. A score is uh, 20, four score is 80. It says, and 5,000 of them, even so destroyed thou this host before us this day, that the rest may know that he have spoken blasphemously against thy sanctuary and judge thou him according to his wickedness. That's what we're going to pray for Esau, Edom, this mother effer, man. So the 13th day of the month Adar, the host joined battle. But Nicanor's host was discomfited and he himself was first slain in the battle. Now, when Nicanor's host saw that he was slain, they cast away their weapons and fled. Then they pursued our people after them a day's journey from Adassa unto Gazera, sounding an alarm after them with their trumpets, whereupon they came forth out of all the towns of Judah round about or Judea and closed them in. Woo! Man, I, I, I believe that hey, the elect, the, the men that's going to get that power is going to do the same thing. They're going to be chasing certain battalions and shit. And there's going to be other brothers in the, in the cut and they're going to come out and cut their ass off and just destroy their fucking ass, man. And it's going to be a beautiful time. While our women and children, and if there's elderly among them, they're going to be safe because the heavenly host is going to protect them. And as the, the promise the Lord gave through Ezra that they're going to have an abundance, the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee. And uh, the Lord's hand shall cover us so that our children, our little ones shall not see the grave. Be thou joyful, O thou mother of the children, because the women are going to be saved through childbearing. The women we have, they're going to be either great with child, having the little ones already there or having a new newborn being formed in them at that time. And they're going to be protected because the Lord is going to be with his elect. But two thirds, y'all going to be in a world of hurt because they ain't going to know who to call upon. And the Lord will not stand for you, even if you didn't know him, because you're a two third. You already been numbered to the sword. It says. Whereupon they came forth out of all the towns of Judea. Round about and closed them in so that they turning back upon them that pursued them were all slain with the sword and not one of them was left. Woo! Afterwards, they took the spoils and the prey and smote off Nicanor's head and his right hand, which he stretched out so proudly and brought them away and hanged them up toward Jerusalem. For this cause, the people rejoiced greatly and they kept the day uh, kept that day a day of great gladness. Moreover, they ordained to keep yearly this day 
being the 13th of Adar, thus the land of Judah was in rest a little while. See? So at that time, you know, we're going to have victories, but we're still going to be moving around as pilgrims on the earth in those battles, be even as pilgrims upon the earth, because there's going to be a fight all the way until the arrival of Yahweh Shai. All right. And the angels, the heavenly hosts, even though the angels are going to be right there with us, helping us out, you know, uh, 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 strengthening us. The Lord is going to be with us. He's going to be our strong tower. OK, our mighty shield. But the, the actual physical return coming of Yahweh Shai is going to be the very last thing to, to happen before the nukes hit America, which we're going to be in. And then all of our brothers around the world, they're going to be getting through their uh, uh, different situations. But the Lord is going to be with the elect. But two thirds in those other lands, the Lord is going to be an enemy against you. He's going to send out an enemy to destroy your ass. And this is what's going to be said in the mouth of the two thirds. I'm going to read this here in the book of Deuteronomy 31 and 17. And it reads, then my anger shall be kindled against them two thirds in that day. And I will forsake them. And I will hide my face from them and they shall be devoured and many evils and troubles shall befall them so that they will say in that day are not these evils come upon us because our God is not among us. Ooh, man, it's cold. That's what's going to be in the mouth of two thirds. They're going to know in their mind like, damn, all this is happening because our power is not with us. And we have did we done nothing for him to be merciful unto us or gracious unto us and the mercy that he did show us we belittled it we scoffed at it we 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 uh uh we loathed it you see but then they're gonna know only at the death by pain it says then my anger will blaze forth against them i will abandon them hiding my face from them and they will be devoured terrible trouble will come down on them and on that day they will say these disasters have come down on us because Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, or our God, because God is no longer among us. Dang, that's what they're going to say. Okay. Now, let me get another scripture. We're going to go to <clears throat> Micah 2. I'm going to go to Micah 2. All right. Now, then this uh, particular Jacob's Trouble uh, uh, lesson, I'm going back and forth from the elect to the two thirds. And the other ones are just straight two thirds getting cursed out because they're going to be slain and destroyed because they're wicked and, and, and assholes and demons. And they're not taking this time that the Lord has given them seriously, but they will in that time. Now, this is the book of Micah 2 and 3. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Shah, behold, against this family do I devise an evil. From which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. Woo, bad time. <whistles> Let's go to the book of Jeremiah 30 and 14. Okay. 30, 14. And up top, I'm going to get uh, the book of Second Kings 6. Okay. City is gonna be besieged, and a lot of our, our uh, people are gonna be trapped in these cities, and it's gonna be a fucking turkey shoot hell within these cities, a damn meat grinder upon them, and certain women that think they had it all going on. You gonna eat your children, you damn harlots. You gonna eat your children because you ain't shit. <clears throat> you just a bitch that had babies, but you're not a mother. You don't have a motherly love and nurturing, caring spirit that mothers should have. You just a bitch that got little nigglets running running around. You're going to eat them. And not just Keisha, but goddamn Maria, too. You're going to eat little Hector and, and uh, Tito or whatever the fuck, man. Okay? Because you're a demon. All right? Now, let's go to the point. Second Kings 6, 24. And it reads, it says, the siege of Samaria cannibalism it says and it came to pass after this that ben hadad king of syria gathered all his host and went up and besieged samaria the northern kingdom the capital of the northern kingdom the northern tribes the latinos and native americans 
this happened upon you. So these women that were eating their children was preferably the Northern Kingdom women. But it happened among the Southern Kingdom too. During uh, the time that the Romans came down, 70 AD, uh, uh, Masada to be exact, it says, and there was a great famine in Samaria and behold, they besieged it until an ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver, hyperinflation. You see, but yet they're buying something that you ain't even supposed to fucking eat. Then if you were to uh, buy something like that on a, on an animal's head, anything you could eat, even on the head, that's there's less meat on the head. There's nothing really there on the head. Just some skin and shit. And that's it. But they saw the ass's head, a donkey's head, for uh uh what does it say? Four score pieces of silver, 80 pieces of silver. So the food that you are gonna get, if you do get anything in the in these times of Jacob's trouble, is gonna be very uh a little you get, but it's gonna be at a very great price. And many of you, because the siege is going to be so sore, you're going to eat your own children. <clears throat> it says, and the fourth part of the cab, fourth part of a cab of doves dung, it's bird shit, for five pieces of silver. Like, what? Damn. As a result, there was a great famine in the city. The siege lasted so long that a donkey's head sold for 80 pieces of silver. And a cup of doves dung sold for five pieces of silver. Damn. That's how that's how uh, 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 closed in the Lord is going to have two thirds of his people. You ain't about to get nothing because your ass this whole time you've been eating and shit, eating and drinking and talking shit and murmuring against the Lord. In that time where you need food the most and water, you ain't going to get it. You won't get shit that you ain't even supposed to eat if you do get anything. And if you don't get nothing, you're going to eat your own children. And if you don't eat your own children, you're going to pine away because of the famine. OK. Man. And as the king of Israel is passing by upon the wall, the cried a woman unto him, saying, help my Lord, O king. One day, as the king of Israel was walking along the wall of that of the city, a woman called to him, please help me, my Lord, the king. And he said, if the Lord Yahweh do not help thee, whence shall I help thee? Out of the barn floor or out of the wine press? He answered, if the Lord doesn't help you, what can I do? I have neither food from the threshing floor nor wine from the press to give you. And the king said unto her, what aileth thee? And she answered, this woman said unto me, give thy son that we may eat him today and we will eat my son tomorrow. Damn, see that? But then the king asked, what is the matter? She replied, this woman said to me, come on, let's eat your son today. Then we will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did eat him. God, man. And I said unto her on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him and she have hid her son. <laughs> Damn. So we cooked my son and ate him. Then the next day I said to her, kill your son so we can eat him. But she had, she has hidden her son. Damn. And it came to pass when the king heard the words of the woman that he rent his clothes and he passed by upon the wall and the people looked and behold, he had sackcloth with in upon his flesh. Ooh, that's a horrible story, God damn. There's gonna be even more horror stories in the times that we're coming into of what people are gonna do to desperation. It says when the king heard this, he tore his clothes in despair. And as the king walked along the wall, the people could see that he was wearing burlap under his robe next to his skin. So I'm gonna play this clip. Shalom. Bear with me, uh, Salakia. Damn. Bear with me, brothers. All right, Akim, I'm back. I'm about to play this clip. Enjoy. Shalom. With Roku gone and the great comet returning, the timing was perfect to change the world. I knew the next avatar would be born an air nomad. 
So I wiped out the air temples. But somehow the new avatar eluded me. I wasted the remainder of my life searching in vain. I know he's hiding out there somewhere. The Fire Nation's greatest threat. The last airbender. That can't be it. Where's the rest of it? You sent this, didn't you? I found the secret history, which, by the way, should be renamed the history most people already know. The note said that I needed to know about my great-grandfather's death, but he was still alive in the end. No, he wasn't. What are you talking about? You have more than one great-grandfather, Prince Zuko. Sozin was your father's grandfather. Your mother's grandfather was Avatar Roku. Why are you telling me this? Because understanding the struggle between your two great-grandfathers can help you better understand the battle within yourself. Evil and good are always at war inside you, Zuko. It is your nature, your legacy. But there is a bright side. What happened generations ago can be resolved now by you. Because of your legacy, you alone can cleanse the sins of our family and the Fire Nation. Born in you, along with all the strife, is the power to restore balance to the world. This is a royal artifact. It's supposed to be worn by the Crown Prince. Man, those one you enjoyed that clip. Beautiful. <laughs> hey man, that was beautiful from the top, man. He said this is a royal artifact. It's supposed to be worn by the crown prince. That's beautiful right there, man, because you brothers, man, you you beautiful brothers out there from our apostles and elders on down, we have a crown. And Yahweh Shai told us, let no man take thy crown. And for those of you that overcome, I will give you power over the nations. OK, so we're wearing the crown in the spirit. It's supposed to be worn by the crown prince. Come on now. And he said uh, evil and good are always at war inside you, Zuko. It is, it is your nature, your legacy. I'm going to get that word legacy. All right. Because we come from a, a powerful lineage. There was both good among our people in the past and evil among our people in the past. Just as it is here and now, there's good among us and evil. Niggas that want to betray our nation and be assholes and others of us that's going to fight for our future, for our nation, for, for our existence, all right, for our right to live, okay? There's going to be a, 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 a section or, or, or a remnant of us that's going to return unto the Lord our power as we have always done in the past. There's going to be a very great majority of those that fall away and be destroyed. Some called back, but others left to the sword. So let no man take thy crown. And then going back to the beginning of the clip, he said, with Roku gone and the great comet returning, the timing was perfect to change the world. This damn devil, he, he, he sees the timing is perfect to change the world. He wants his new world order. He said, but I knew that the next avatar would be born an air nomad. So I wiped out the air temples. That's what this nigga did back in 70 AD. He destroyed our last standing temple. And he thought that was it. He's like, well, they cut off from that power. They threw. They done. But yeah, Yahweh Shai did a uh uh did you something better than that, nigga? He his blood covers us now. He's our high priest ever in the heavens. Okay? And now the temple is our bodies. And those of us that keep the word of his patience, he shall also keep us from the hour of temptation, so that you may not be able to sack our new temple, even our bodies. Right? And and this damn devil, just as all the heathen knew, that we always had a savior to, to rise up to be born into the world. With Moses, born during the time of, 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 of our, our captivity in Egypt, the Exodus. And then Yahweh Shah was born into the world with great signs. The wise men seen his star in the east, which was a chariot, leading them to him, his birthplace, Bethlehem. And then, and then, uh, 
uh, uh, him being able to escape into Egypt. All right. Through the angel telling Joseph, hey, you take the young woman and the child, your wife and, uh, and, the, and the child, which is Yahweh Shai and go into Egypt and hide there until Herod the Great dies. And then I'll, I'll bring you back into the land. But now at this time, there's many, many born saviors shall stand upon Mount Zion and judge the Mount of Esau. So many saviors have been born into this lifetime. But Esau Edom doesn't know who's who. So he tried to hit us with the goddamn uh, uh, vaccines and shit and all this other bullshit that we had to take growing up. Fucking bullshit ass cereal with fucking metals and shit in it and all this other crap. But we did not. But we did not waver. OK, we made it out. His mercy was upon us to to survive. All right. Now, there's many saviors and we ain't going to let no man take our crown. All right. And he said, but I've erased the remainder of my life searching in vain. I know he's hiding out there somewhere. The Fire Nation's greatest threat, the last airbender, because they're not just looking for one savior no more. There's many of us out there now and they just don't know who's who. And now they, they got to come down on the whole nation. That's Esau Edom's thinking. He said, in order for me to change the world and bring this new world order, I got to take these people out so that I may possibly get the birthright back. But he's through. God damn, what the hell's going on? Just remove it, God damn. All right, so, yeah, that's where we at right now, man. Hey, but that's beautiful how the Lord hit us. Just as the, the avatar was hit, he said, but I know he's out there hiding somewhere. But we're hidden under the shadow of the Almighty. How about that? All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to go to the book of Zephaniah 3, 15. We have Zephaniah 3. I'm going to bring out a few more of these scripts and we out. But Lord, when you enjoyed that clip, it was heavy, man. I had to I break it down through the spirit. A remnant of Israel. Okay, so 15. Let's go to 15. And it reads, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Hashem have taken away thy judgments. He have cast out thine enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Shai, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. The elect. No other two thirds after they are slain. When you come back in the kingdom, you ain't going to see evil anymore. And in the midst of those evils, the Lord is going to protect his elect. And we're not going to see the evils anymore. That we're seeing in this time that's never going to be seen again. We're never going to see these evils again. It says, for the Lord, Yahweh Bashimasha, will remove his hand of judgment and will disperse the armies of your enemy. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashimasha himself, the king of Israel, will live among you. At last, your troubles will be over and you will never again fear disaster because this place is going to go out with a great cataclysm. Fire and brimstone, fire and blood. That's how it's going to go out. But never again. The Lord is going to dwell among us. Now, this is Jeremiah 30. 14 for the two thirds. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. That's the only reason that this onslaught is going to come down upon our people. So heavy, heavy duty, doc. OK. Uh, Lamentations Let's go to Lamentations real quick. All right, because a lot of our people are going to be lamenting and crying. Lord ain't going to hear none of that, man, because it's already been told ye. All right, where's, where's Lamentations at? Lamentations, where's it at? Is it? There it is, Lamentations. Lamentations 2 and 22. And it reads, Thou hast called as in a solemn day my terrors round about. So that in the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai's anger, none escaped nor remained those that I have sw uh, swaddled and brought up have mine enemy consumed. <laughs> Man, see that? That's what's going to happen to our people that has been swallowed, uh, swaddled of the Lord and brought up and kept. Even though you're in the land of your enemy, you threw. You're in the land of your captivity. The Lord kept you, but he will do so no more. Because you you you've done wickedly before his face. And this is a Lamentations two and four. He had bent his bow like an enemy. He stood with his right hand as an adversary and slew all that were pleasant to the eye. All you beautiful women, 
all Jakes that look handsome and, you know, looking cool. You know, our, pe- our people look beautiful. We're a beautiful nation of people. The babies are beautiful. But the Lord said, I don't give a damn. Uh, you were pleasant to the eyes. You're going to be taken out. God, eh. it says, and slew all that were pleasant to the eye in the tabernacle of the daughter of Zion. You're going to be in a lot of these, a lot of Jake going to be hiding in these churches. You're going to be slain in there. You're going to be hiding in these high rises, slain there. Be hiding in these uh, projects, slain there. You're going to be hiding in these uh, facilities, slain there. He might look good, but the Lord doesn't give, he has no respect to persons. He don't give a shit that you look good. Your spirit is off. He's going he's gonna to off you. How about that? It says, he poured out his fury like fire. And the Lord is going to do that in the end with the missiles. <clears throat> Who's ever left among Jake that took that MOTB, that RFID, the Lord is going to devour you with fire. It says, the Lord was as an enemy. He has swallowed up Israel. He has swallowed up all her palaces. He has destroyed his strongholds and have increased in the daughter of Judah. Mourning and lamentation. Dang. It says, and he had violently taken away his tabernacle. Because <laughs> now the tabernacle is is, is our bodies. Is uh is, it was the temple then, but now is our is our bodies now. So the Lord's gonna violently uh take away you you people's tabernacles, your bodies, he's gonna take you out brutally, man. It says, and if you and if it, as it were a as if it were a garden, so like it. He have destroyed his place of the assembly. The Lord Yahweh Shemashai have caused the solemn feast and Sabbath to be forgotten in Zion and have despised in the indignation of his anger the king and the priest. Damn. So the Lord don't give a damn who's your leader. You think that's your king, fucking King James, fucking LeBron James. He's going to destroy him. And then your ugly ass pastor, TD Fakes, and these other clowns, he's going to destroy them. Okay, says the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai has cast off his altar. He have abhorred his sanctuary. He have given up into the hand of the enemy, the walls of her palaces. They have made a noise in the house of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai as in the day of a solemn feast. Where there's going to be the noise of slaughter among our people. Because the Lord dwells among his people. So among you Jakes that the Lord has has anger out for, you're going to be slaughtered among your enemies. Okay? Your kings and your priests, your leaders are going to be slaughtered in your face. You're going to be slaughtered. Those that are pleasant to the eye will be slaughtered. But the elect will be preserved. Okay, let's go to the book of Proverbs real quick. I want to get these last few scripts. We had on time. Not bad. Okay. Making good time. Uh, oh, yeah. Proverbs, okay. Proverbs 15, 23. And it reads, A man have joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season. How good is it? So all the people that got this word in time before all this destruction are going to be so happy and so thankful and praising the Lord and blessing the men that the Lord have set up that they heard the word of warning, the word of of grace, the word of truth, the word of hope, the word of salvation from the men of the Lord that came week in and week out and never stopped until the Lord told them to stop. And then the time of evil came. So those that heard the word, man, they're going to be so grateful and happy that they got it and received it and held on to it and kept it and preserved it. Does a man have joy by the answer of his mouth? Because the men of the Lord are going to be happy. We did everything that the Lord told us to do. We should, we're, we're good. The Lord is going to protect us like he said he's going to protect us. And then those that heard it are going to be uh, rejoicing and happy because they received it. And a word spoken in due season. How good is it? The way of life is above to the wise that he may depart from hell beneath. Hell being the grave. So the way uh, uh, of life unto us, unto the wise is above. We're going to look up. For our salvation draweth nigh. Okay. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah 44. Did I read that? Yep, I read that. Okay. So up top, I'm going to get Jeremiah 44. Let's get it. Well, actually, get Jeremiah 44 down below. And then I'm going to get uh, Kings up top. Okay. This is Jeremiah 44 and 24. And it reads, moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people 
and to all the women. Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh, by Shema Shah, all Judah, that are in the land of Egypt, the modern day Egypt is America, because niggas don't want to leave this fucking place. And knowing that they got a land, we've been telling them your land is Israel, but at this time you can't go to Israel because the Lord is going to destroy that place. But in spirit, in your mind, leave this place, Babylon. Seek not, no good for it because only evil will come to it. Seek the Lord your power while he may be found. It says, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, the power of Israel, saying, ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hand saying we will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the queen of heaven. There's a lot of you jakes is in that queen of heaven spirit. The black woman is God. You northern kingdom are up your woman's ass. It's all about Guadalupe and bullshit. And the Lord have heard this and have, have despised it and have become furious and angry. And he's going to destroy you for that. Because you niggas about getting money and, and happy wife, happy life, bullshit instead of serving Yahabah Shabashai. Do things well pleasing unto him and not to your goddamn woman and your punk old children and whoever the fuck else. They don't matter. Yahweh is the one you serve. But since you have not served him, he's going to serve you with death and destruction and judgment. It says, saying, we will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out a drink offering unto her. You will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Therefore, hear ye the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al-Shah, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt, America. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al-Shah, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al-Shah, power liveth. Because none of our people are going to be able to name the name of the Lord. And even when you crying out to God and Jesus, <clears throat> you just going to. You're just going to look weak in the, in the face of everybody that's going to be around you. Like, what the f who are you calling? What? Who? There's no God. Why would God allow this? But you're going to know that the Lord have done this. He says, behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword warfare and by the famine, lack of resources, until there be an end of them. Yet a small number that escape the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah and all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there. Now this happened in, in the actual Egypt in the past, but now you can relay it to the new Egypt now because a lot of Jake flee to this ugly ass place, especially the Northern kingdom from the lands they are, they're at. They come to America as if it's better, but it's bugged out. It's through. It says uh, Judah and all the remnant of Judah, that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose word shall stand mine or theirs. And that's the spirit because we came into this new year. Niggas is making fucking revolutions and shit. Now I'm about to bubble, man. This is going to be my year. 2024, man, America shit. Hey, man, I'm going to get my own business. I'm about to do my own fucking thing. Now, not even thinking about the Lord, not saying Lord willing to nothing. But the Lord said, we're going to see whose word is going to stand mine's or yours. The Lord's word is going to stand. Jacob's trouble shall surely come. This MOTB shall be pushed. Society will collapse. The Lord will bring civil war to this land. He will dry this fucking place up in the end. But before all that, he's going to fill this land with men as with caterpillars, soldiers. And then he's going to uh, 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 hit it with the plagues of Egypt as of old. All right. And he's going to do all that he said he was going to do upon this place. He has pronounced evil upon this place. And two thirds of his people, evil has been pronounced against ye. All right. It says, and this shall be a sign unto you, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem al that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know that my words shall surely stand against you for evil. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem al behold, I will give Pharaoh, Hope, Ra, king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemy. So, the one you trust in, whether it be Trump, or ugly ass Biden, the fucking leaders that you think is going to lead you into a future. The Lord said they're going to be delivered into the hands of their enemies. Because the Lord have already given Babylon to, the, to its enemies, beginning with the Russians, the Medes and the Persians, which the Iranians and the other conglomerate of nations that are with them. This place is already destroyed and through. It says. And into the hand of them that seek his life. As I gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy, 
and that sought his life. So the Lord is going to give everybody uh, uh, into the hand of their enemies that seek their life. So you ain't even going to be able to look to your leaders or the, the so-called uh, uh, commander in chief of this nation because he's going to be delivered, in, it's into, uh, delivered into the hand of his enemy that the Lord only knows like who uh, who these leaders are truly afraid of. And he's going to deliver them into the hands of those that they are afraid. All right. Now, a few more scriptures and we out. Uh, I got uh, I'm going to get second Kings up here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Second Kings. Two and twenty-eight. All right. And then I'm gonna get some down below two and twenty. Second Kings is it Second Kings? Or First Kings? First Kings, I like it. First Kings two twenty-eight. Going into Solomon, see the, the, the cruel Lord that's going to be over this land. We already know it's Yahweh Shah, according to uh, Isaiah 19. And down below, I'm going to get uh, Wisdom of Solomon. <clears throat> okay. It's funny, uh, Solomon on both both ends. It's, it, we knew we, and we know who Solomon is, the spirit. That's the spirit I'd ended like that. Praise the Lord. I ain't planned this out. Lord did it all. Uh, 21. Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 21, and it reads, For thou canst show thy great strength at all times when thou wilt, and who may withstand the power of thine arm. This is Yahweh Bashimashai. For the whole world before thee is as a little grain of the balance, yeah, as a drop of the morning dew that falleth down upon the earth. Ooh, man. But thou hast mercy upon all. For thou canst do all things and winkest at the sins of men because they should amend. But the Lord ain't going to wink in this time. He's going to turn away his face and send straight judgment and wrath on this place. Okay, now let me go to Wisdom of Solomon 12. We're going to go to verse 9. And it reads, Not that thou was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts or with one rough word. That's what the Lord is going to have out here in this time. Cruel beasts. He's going to send out his rough word, his decree, his judgment. And he's going to destroy. All right. It says, but executing thy judgments upon them by little and little. That's what the Lord have done. He's been uh, uh, hacking away at this place little by little. It says, but executing thy judgment upon them by little and little. Thou gavest them place of repentance, our people. Not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation and that their malice was bred in them, and that their cogitation would never be changed. For it was a cursed seed from the beginning. Neither didst thou for fear of any man give them pardon for those things wherein they sinned, both for Esau, the heathen, and Jake. Okay? For who shall say, what hast thou done? Or who shall withstand thy judgment? Or who shall accuse thee for the nations that perish? Who? Whom thou made. Or who? shall come to stand against thee to be revenged for the unrighteous men. Ain't nobody going to be able to stand before the Lord. He's like, yeah, I killed the nigga. And what? Like he killed Kobe. Lord did that. And none of you people could stop it. For neither is there any power. But thou that care for all to whom thou mightest show that thy judgment is not unright. Neither shall king or tyrant be able to set his face against thee for any whom thou hast punished. For so much then, as thou art righteous thyself, thou orders all things righteously, thinking it not agreeable with thy power to condemn him that have not deserved to be punished. For thy power is the beginning of righteousness. And because thou art the Lord of all, it maketh thee to be gracious unto all. And the Lord have given all this time. Ye are saved by grace. But Jake used this grace period to be a bigger nigger, so you're going to die a nigger. And Esau Edom just been blaspheming and cursing out the Lord and thinking he is God. So the Lord is going to destroy his ass with a great destruction. And you heathen has just been bugging out and, and having a conglomeration or confederation against the nation of Israel. You're going to be destroyed. And those that are left among you will go into captivity. OK, it says for when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength and among them that know it. Thou makest their boldness manifest. That's us in this time. Our boldness is manifest. 
but thou mastering thy power judges with equity, which is fairness and orders us with great favor for thou mayest use power when thou wilt. But by such works has thou taught thy people that the just man should be merciful and has made thy children to be of a good hope that thou givest repentance for sins. And you're going to see the difference between the two thirds that did not repent and the one third that did repent and what the Lord does for each. Call I'm going to read. I'm going to read uh, uh, first Kings two. Verse two. I'm going to read first Kings two. And uh, 28 through 34 and we out. It says, uh, Joab executed. It says, I'm going to read the NLT. It says, Joab had not joined Absalom's earlier rebellion, but he had joined Adonijah's rebellion. So when Joab heard about Adonijah's death, see, Solomon put Adonijah to death for being a demon. The Lord going to put a lot of his people to death. Now, Solomon, his brother Adonijah, that's his actual brother, and he put his ass to death because he was a demon. He was wicked. And he brought down that decree. So the Lord, our king, the king of kings, is going to bring down many decrees upon you niggas. They don't get, he don't give a fuck if Jake like you and you popular among Jake. And Oh, no, no, I like him. Like he took Kobe ass out. People love Kobe, man. But the Lord still killed this nigga, man. Killed him because he was wicked in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord took him back uh, to himself in the heavens, him and his daughter. So come on now. Lord's going to just keep on doing it until... All you wicked Jakes are eradicated off the earth and your spirit is back with the father in the heavens. Destined to come back during the time of the kingdom when the elect is uh, producing a uh, seed and children. All right. Now, this is uh, the book of first Kings two twenty eight. It says Joab had not joined Absalom's earlier rebellion, but he had joined Adonijah's rebellion. So when Joab had uh, Joab heard about Adonijah's death, he ran to the sacred tent of the Lord and grabbed on the horns of the altar. See, a lot of our, our people are going to think they're going to grab on the Bible. Lord, dude, you can't kill me. I have the Bible. I trust you. I trust you. I repent. I repent. They're going to be fucking trying to repent then or run into a church or whatever the fuck. And the Lord going to send a mercenary or a man, of the, a man of the Lord there to execute your ass. I have come in the name of the Lord to put you to death. But I'm a man of the Lord. I know God. God with me. And all this other crap. And women, no, I know God, no Jesus. The Lord has ordered me to put you to death. Come with me. And it is going to be through. It says, when this was reported to King Solomon, he sent Benaniah, son of uh, Jehoiada, to execute him. Benaniah went to the sacred tent of the Lord and said, Joab, the king orders you to come out. But Joab answered, no, I will die here. So Ben and I returned to the king and told him what Joab had said. Verse 31. Do as he said. The king replied, kill him there beside the altar and bury him. This will remove the guilt of Joab's senseless murders from me and from my father's family. The Lord will repay him for the murders of of two men who were more righteous and better than he. For my father knew nothing about the deaths of Abner, son of Ner, the uh, commander of the army of Israel, and of Amasa, son of Jether, commander of the army of Judah. See that? That's it. All right, just like going back to the clip with Zuko, he said, um, it is your nature, your legacy. There's always good and evil or war inside you, Zuko. It is your nature, your legacy. But uh, what happened generations ago can be resolved now by you because of your uh, 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 legacy. You know, you have uh, uh, the power to restore balance to the world. And that's, that's for you brothers, the, for the, the elect. You have that power now. What happened generations ago can be resolved now. Ooh, man. Now, this is, get this word legacy real quick. It says body of person sent on a mission. The elect. It says ambassadors or ambassadors of Mashiach, envoys, deputies. All right, it says, send with a commission, appoint as deputy, appoint by a last will, a testament. That's what it would be. So we're in the New Testament. We're ambassadors of Mashiach for the New Testament. And he has a New Testament for our people based on better promises. But it begins with the hopeful elect, that house of David. Before our people that will not have it so, they need to be executed. 
They must be executed. May their blood be on Joab and his descendants forever. And may the Lord Yahweh Bashimal Shai grant peace forever to David, his descendants, his dynasty, and his throne. Woo! So the house of David is going to be blameless from all that have happened. Even though we went off in our past lives and in this life, the Lord is going to forgive that. But you two third niggas for being demons, just like Joab was a demon and being a rebellious guy. He killed two, uh, he killed men more greater than himself. So you two thirds have taken out certain jakes that were greater than you. And you have scoffed the word and slain the men of the Lord throughout the, the, uh, the centuries. But that blood that was slain is going to be required of you in this generation. And that blood that might have been on us has been cleansed by the blood of my shock so that we may be found innocent. Call all your liar, but So Benaniah, son of Jehoiada, returned to the sacred tent and killed Joab. He was buried at his home in the wilderness. So, hey, the Lord going to kill you where you stand. You don't give a fuck where you at. If you in some sacred place, a church, slay your ass right there by the men of the Lord, by his own hand, by the heavenly host, by the demons, by the animals, by the uh, newly created creatures, by whatever. The Lord is going to kill you where you stand. He's going to take you on your word because all you niggas be like, well, well, nigga, nigga, death is nothing, you know, shit, kill me, nigga, you know, death, whatever, you know, just talk all this shit as if death don't scare you niggas. But the Lord going to bring a death that's going to have you niggas, uh, your teeth chattering, said, uh, 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 um, how's it go? The national teeth. OK. And that's going to be your end. But for the elect, there is hope. Look up for thy salvation draweth nigh. And with that, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakat Kudash, by whom we do function, double honors, unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers, at Great Millstone, at the ruling well, and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, that house of David. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto you, believers out there, you brothers fighting a good fight of faith, keep it up. To your sisters doing that which is becoming of women, shalom. And to those that are addicted unto this ministry, I say shalom. Those when you have been edified. To the next time I say shalom, on to the next one. This has been Jacob's trouble. It will be done, my Lord. Part three. Shalom.